So if you were to ask me what is the single most important thing in a music video, I would say it's the cinematography. Uh, because if, for example, you have a really cool story idea or some great effects, but your shots uh, themselves don't look that good, then uh, your music video is just, you know, it's just gonna look bad. Even if you screw up and you don't manage to, for example, let's say get all the shots that you needed, but the shots that you did get uh, end up looking really professional, then uh, your music video is still gonna work because usually in editing, uh, especially in a music video, you can somehow stitch it together, you know, intercut it with the performance shots. Well, okay, so when shooting Dahlia's video, this was the first shot that I started with. It was uh, the whole video was shot inside this uh, really beautiful looking house, um, and it just had a lot of different, you know, interesting looking rooms and 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 uh, decorations. So uh, we used it, and it was uh, it was enough to keep the whole music video, I think, interesting. The first shot here, uh, I mean, it right away looks pretty beautiful. We just I just had her standing in the kitchen by this big window, and it was an overcast day outside. So as you can see, it created a really nice sort of a soft l lighting and which would have worked let's say if this was let's say a dramatic movie or, or more of a, like a serious music video now we were going more for this kind of a pop look so I wanted to really kind of you know add a lot of different colors and, and kind of more of this glamour lighting on her so uh, next thing I ended up doing is adding this backlight there behind her so the it was just you know it was basically to the right side of the camera basically directly behind her and it's uh the 1000 watt uh, redhead light that i have with a uh, kind of an orange gel on it here you can see the light and with the, with the gel on it and then the next light i end up adding is uh is this blue light because I didn't want everything there in the background to be to have that orange tint, I just wanted a, I just wanted that orange tint just on her, and uh, but I felt like you know with too much of that orange on on those shelves there, it almost feels like I'm like it's kind of a I don't know maybe almost like candle lit kind of a scene, so I ended up adding another uh, 1000 watt uh, redhead, and this time with a blue gel on it. So and I just just that, that one I just pointed it at those shelves over there, and right away it's looking pretty cool. This is here, you can see that the second light with the blue gel underneath there, on the bottom. And the last thing I end up adding is that big softbox uh, you see there in the top left corner. Uh, here you can see me turn it on. And what that provides is just a sort of a nice soft frontal lighting that kind of gives you that little bit of that Hollywood starlit look with that soft shadow under her chin. And here's me, you know, I, once I had was happy with the lighting, I would just sort of you know, quickly switch the angle of the camera. I was getting a close-up of her hands. Uh, you know, things like that. I got um, uh, also got close-up close-up of her face. Things like that. So, if, you know, I don't have to change the lighting simply because we were always more or less from the same angle. I would just kind of punch in here on her hands or on her face. So. Uh, that was it. Uh, this is actually one of the um, many, many lighting setups that I sh uh, show you how to do uh, in my music video film school uh, tutorial series, which you can buy as a digital download or on uh, this cool little USB uh, drive. And uh, it's basically like a five hour long uh, a series of tutorials where I show you from start to finish how to make uh, music videos. Um, you know, l literally everything from planning to uh, the actual filming of it, you know, lighting setups, uh, little tips and tricks to uh, post-production, editing, you know, visual effects, color correction, all that stuff. Uh, I also have uh, uh, another product that I'm selling, which is a DVD about the making of a, of a short film. Again, I should teach you how to make a short film, like the one that I did here, uh, titled Dinner Date. Uh, you can get all of this uh, on my website, tomantosfilms.com, or, or you can just follow the links on the description of this video. Uh, and as always, uh, you know, subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks.